Hi and welcome back to South African Homesteader. Um, today we will be building another trellis in the garden where the cucumbers are. Uh, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you how we are going to be doing that. So this is the cucumbers growing here and what we are doing is we are knocking in some rebar into the ground we are using some conduiting pipe some conduiting pipe we are using and we are putting it over the rebar in the shape of an arch bending it over and onto the other side so you have rebar on that side knocked in rebar on that side knocked in You put your conduiting pipe over that and we will be doing that with each of these rebars that has been knocked into the ground right so this will be what will be the effect I actually can't see because the light is too bright. What we are going to be doing then is we will be putting the fencing right over. So we'll be putting the fencing right over and that will form an arch and it will form a trellis for these little babies growing down here and then I've also got some that I transplanted over to this side. Which was the idea that I had inside the greenhouse, but because we were quite new here yeah, and we were a bit scared and all of that, and actually that is, we decided to cover that area. So, I will be keeping you posted on how this build is going, how this trellis build is going. So really what you will be needing is four um, items as rebar which will you can cut to size we cut it I think to about a meter so that it's a 500 in the ground and I think 500 to 600 above ground um, and then you're going to need your conduiting pipe to form your arch you're going to be using some wire netting or wire fencing and you will need cable ties to tie that with. So it's full product, it's the rebar, it's the conduiting pipe, it's the wire fencing and the cable ties. Quick, easy and so pretty. So there we have the other stakes planted and we have our conduiting pipe forming our arch and that is already taking shape and giving you the effect of what it's going to look like um, so now what we still need to do is we need to put the wire fencing on you can see that my husband is also busy he used um, some line just to keep our um, sort of the line straight so that you don't go skew and your distances aren't the same so you will need a tape measure and some line in addition to the other four products that I've already mentioned fence and they are tying it with the cable ties um, we've made two uh, archways simply because I don't know if you can see here my butternut is starting to go all across this pathway so we decided to let because I think that's gym squash and butternut 
and it's various squashes and this Jeff definitely I know is I think I planted gem squash here but I put some green beans in here now so that they can trail up from this side and then the butternut can come up from that side so hopefully it's going to go according to plan because inside the greenhouse those arches aren't really um, serving a purpose because it was for shade so I don't know if I must take it off or must wait until the cucumbers are finished I don't know we even deciding because what we have noticed considering perhaps taking down the the meeting um, of the uh, greenhouse because I have noticed that some of my things inside are growing a lot slower than outside here. Um, the plants are quite resilient. Um, they can handle heat and with the way we've now planted with a pool to add windbreak that might be a solution however I don't know what the summers are going to be like so we are going to be leaving it on until the, I think the end of Feb and just see how it goes um, we might change things up a bit we are here only three months so we are still trying to figure out what works best for, for year I was just a bit scared that I wasn't going to you know that my, the wind was going to be damaging my tomatoes etc but it, it seems to be that um, plants are quite more resilient than you give credit for plants are definitely more resilient than you give credit for so we'll see what we're going to do with the greenhouse it is a nice space for us when it's really hot outside and you want to work in the garden then I work inside there so for, for, for that reason it's really nice but other than that if we are going to leave it on I will be taking off the arches there and even this gate we I had like a gate thing I might take that off and the one inside with the cucumbers and then we'll plant cucumbers only outside we'll have to mix things up and see what works better in dappled shade maybe or dappled sun actually um, what works better in dappled sun we'll have to see and what works better in the full sun we do know but sometimes what the book says and sometimes what actually happens in your space and environment is different so this one is now finished standing under it and they are busy putting the fencing on this one I don't know maybe I must change the angle so that the sun is behind me so yeah they're putting on the fencing here one in front is complete I can't really see because it's quite bright outside so I don't know what the quality is of the video that I'm taking but let's step over the speed here this is what it looks like Beauty 
beautiful and effective archway and trigger system. I'm just going to take a walk over to my chicken coop to show you our order. They are sitting and that's where they sit. We don't have a tree but they have enough shade. They're all sitting in the shade. And when they see me, they see I don't have anything in my hands, otherwise they all run to where I am. Hello chickens! Hello chickens! Oh, and miss dipping into the pond. Yes, and the chickens. I have nothing for you now. I have no treats. You've been getting treats all day, and then they go back into the shade. I hope you've enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed already then please click on the subscribe button there's also a bell that will notify you if you click that bell it will notify you of all future videos that we put up so from me Hayria at South African Homesteader until next time